Hi there everyone, Ari Cross of Teaching Horsemanship here, and this is an Edix Aladar, which is a jumping saddle. Now that there are some soft tree saddles uh, from Edix making their way to some people in the States, and also just more interest, I wanted to expedite this video <laughs> of how you change the gullet sizes. So measuring is pretty easy. All the soft tree saddles come with all of the gullet sizes, so you don't need to pre-measure like you do for the tree lift line. Um, again, you come with all the sizes, so when you receive it, you will just measure, you fit, the, you know, fit them all on your horse, try them all on your horse, just like you would the pommels for the treeless line, and then just put whatever one fits best into the saddle. So I will do a little video on fitting it, but it's pretty straightforward. So removing it, I'm removing the one that's in there. First, you have two screws here up front. You're just going to remove those. All you need is a little Phillips head. So this is the screw that connects the panel here. And so once it's undone, we're able to move the whole flap down to reach the plate itself. So of course, make sure you keep your screws handy, definitely don't want to lose those. Once you get those out, you pull back the flaps, and there's a little pocket here that you pull back, and then there's your plate right there. This black one is kind of hard to see because it's black. So you pull the flaps all the way down, and then you're able to see your screws for the plate those out. Ta-da! And then there's your plate. So narrowest is at the bottom, going up to widest. So you can see those different angles going all the way down. So I don't know if I'm really feeling bold enough for this yellow one, but we'll try it. So first things first, easiest thing to do is get it on one side. You'll see there's you know a, a channel there. So you want to get the screw into, so you put one side on, and then the challenge, being on the other side, what I found is easiest is to actually flex the saddle rather than trying to flex the pommel. So you push down. And on both sides, I guess for this one, they're really close. go. So again, this is the widest one. So this is by far the hardest to get in. And you want to focus on spreading the saddle, not trying to bend the plate. Because of course, the whole point is the plate is not supposed to bend. <laughs> So you want to make sure you double check that first screw again. Make sure they're both on there well. And we 
slide these back up. Easiest to put it through this first one. And again, you're lining it up with that channel. And a lot of this screw I found is just having the right angle. Which I do not have. I think it's cross threaded there. If you're having any trouble, I highly recommend rather than trying to push harder, try a different angle. Because a lot of this is just about finding the angle to push in on. See, now that one started. Let's make sure we hold this one back on. There we go. This one in. It's a little hard because I'm at the back of the saddle. It's easier if you're at the front of the saddle so you can see exactly what you're doing. See, this one's going in pretty smoothly. Have the right angle. There we go. This one can't quite seem to get. There we go. Now we got it. So it does take some practice, but again, I just highly recommend if you're having trouble, try a different angle. Because um, anytime you put in a new plate, all your the angles are going to be a little bit different. Because the whole point of the plate is it gives the front of the saddle a different angle. So there was even the widest plate, the hardest one to get in. How you can do it. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful. And again, I will uh, put out some short videos showing fitting the pommel plates to some different horses so you can see. Uh, it's very similar to the pommels for the treeless line, so I don't think that will catch people up as much as trying to change the plates. I hope that was helpful, and make sure to reach out to me with any questions, okay?